Yo yo yo, what is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna be showing my sprint race from the virtual GP that was yesterday around Austria. Uh, I had to basically qualify for uh, Stoffel van Dorn, who did the future race. So um, yeah, that's gonna be very interesting, we only get a one shot qualifying and then a five lap race. So heading into turn one I got quite a big snub of oversteer, but I managed to keep it together and uh, hit the apex. Um, so. Still, I think I went purple sector 1, 15.685, which is quite solid for a one-shot qualifying. But in the hairpin, I didn't really get it right. Uh, a little bit unstable with the rear. But anyway, it's still nothing, no major mistake. So heading now into turn 4, down to third gear, and then short shift to fourth. Missed the apex on the inside a little bit, wasn't completely on the limit. Now heading into this fast left and down to fifth gear, short shift to sixth. And I was quite under the limit there, as you can see. And especially here, I turned in too early. Minimum speed was too low. Exit, exit speed was quite bad as well. And you can see from my face cam, I wasn't happy with the lap already. And now, going to the final two corners. Again, not really on the limit, I felt like. So coming across the line, it's a 102.510. Which is a big shame, considering I did a 101.9 in practice. So I was almost six tenths off. Um, to my personal best. So only P9, quite disappointing, not gonna lie. Uh, but it's all to play for in the five lap race. I was around two tenths of pole and most of that was just lost in the last sector alone. Um, so yeah, first corner of sector three was really bad. Uh, turned in too early, not enough minimum speed because of it. So um, yeah, disappointing quality, but now uh, let's head into the race. So it's going to be a 5 lap race, I'm going to start P9 on the grid uh, with my teammate Danny Moreno in P2. Uh, on pole we've got David Tunitsa, on the right hand side from me Yoni Tormala and ahead of me Josh Aydewu in P7. So i um, going to have to make moves really fast if I want to um, get the top 5 in this race. Also need to be a little bit lucky of course <coughs> as I'm just checking my graphic settings if they're all alright. Uh, I had some frame drops, so I just want to check if uh, my graphing settings were all good. But now, uh, let's head into the race. So, P9 on the grid, uh, it's five red lights. And away we go. Quite good start, as you can see, gaining to most people around me on the start. Heading into turn one, breaking at 80 meters. I try to have a look at Josh Idol, but then Alvaro Carriton spins. Ah, Jonic. Tormala hits him and I, and I couldn't avoid it. So straight away front wing damage, which is, not, which is not ideal. I gained two positions though because of the crash. But now I'm going to have to be driving with a lot less front downforce. So Cedric Tomei tried to have a look at me into turn three. As I'm getting an absolute useless strategy advice from uh, Jeff. But anyway, managed to stick to P7 for now. But it's going to be a huge struggle driving, especially to the middle and last sector with this under. So you can see, I run out wide straight away. And I'm not going to be able to stick with in the DRS of Josh Idol because I'm basically going to lose around one second per lap with this front wing damage. So it's going to be a real struggle from here on. But uh, I just have to keep my head down and try to get um, or minimize the damage uh, for the future race for Stoffel. As this is not the race where it counts, the future race is where it counts. So if I can still hold on to P7, P8 or P9, then that means an easier race for Stoffel Van Dorn. So, yeah, quite some uh, decent drivers in the future race. Um, as Freddy Rasmussen oh, completely. The Fuck, was it Rasmussen? Yeah, Freddy Rasmussen completely missed his breaking point uh, and got front wing damage as well, I think so. So that cost me one position. I'm not going to be able to re-overtake James. I think I'm going to lose a huge amount of time through this middle sector. And yeah, I need to try and stick in his DRS though for now. Because that's going to be quite important. You can see uh, I'm struggling so much with the front end uh, at this point. But if I can stick within one second of James uh, heading into turn 1, that means I'm gonna have the rest at least this lap and I'm safe from Fabrizio De Nozo. So coming across the line, it's a 106.0. 
uh, which is mainly of course because Freddy missed his breaking point and lost us all quite a bit of time. But now um, I managed to get, stay within the DRS of James Baldwin, which is amazing because that means I'm one more lap safe from Fabrizio De Nozo or Cedric Tome. So I'm just going to try my best and use all my ERS to stay within the uh, the rest of James Baldwin. I'm not going to attack him of course because that will just uh, cost me my own race. Uh, so yeah, just need to pick my fights at this point and need to decide if I'm going to try and defend as hard as possible from Fabrizio De Nozo and go for P9 or if I'm going to fight it and uh, go for P8. So it's not going to be easy, of course, because, as I said before, I'm going to be around one second per lap slower with this front wing damage. As I think the fast lap of the race is going to be a 103.5, 103.4. And you will see in a second, coming across the line, uh, it's going to be like a 104.5 for me. Yeah, 104.5, so that means one second loss to the leaders, who are probably n haven't even used uh, all the ERS they have yet. As for Bichu the Nose behind me, he gets a two second time penalty uh, for track limits. So, I can let basically let Fabrizio go at this point and still finish P8. So, he goes down my inside, but I take the wider line and keep more momentum on the exit. So, again, uh, I'm safe for one more lap. And this is, of course, lap 4, so next lap will be the last lap. And now, I just need to hope both Fabrizio De Nozo and Cedric Tome battle as hard as possible. So, I can have a big enough of a gap going into the last lap but you can see James Baldwin is now out of DRS and heading through this fast section I'm not going to be able to keep that gap down so now heading into the final two corners of lap 4 Fabrizio De Nozo still right with me uh, probably has to go a lot slower to these corners than he can as I'm in front of him with this front wing damage so heading into turn 1 now uh, not going to use any overtake because if he, if he overtakes me here then I will probably get him back uh, because of DRS. You can see now Fabrizio De Nozo gets DRS. I decide not to turn on my overtake here and save it for the next, next straight as I want to get DRS on the next straight. So now going side by side into the hairpin with Nicolas Longay who joined the fight. Can this guy fight once without crashing it? As we hit on the exit so now going into this downhill right breaking really late going around the outside because see he's ghosting. So I was like, okay, I can take my normal line to the next couple of corners. But apparently I was not ghosted on his screen. So that was an interesting one. Um, so that confused me. But in the end, going into the final two corners, you can see I have no ERS left. And I think Nicolas Longway has the same issue. So going into the last it's corner... It's impossible to overtake. Oh my god. I'm gonna finish P8 just ahead of Nicolas Longley. Right, I managed to stick to P8 with front wing damage. Yeah, well done, Yale. That was tough. Longway was ghosted for me, but I don't think he was ghosted on his screen. So, as you could hear there, um, I realized straight away after the race that Nicolas Longway was probably not ghosted, or I was not ghosted on his screen, but he was ghosted on my screen. So that was uh, really confusing. Uh, as I pretty much just barged him out of the way um, on on his screen, uh, as I was like, "Oh, I can just take the normal racing line and um, lose that position and fight against whoever is in uh, P10," as it will just cost me less time. But um, yeah, I just barged him out of the way by accident, as uh, I was like, "Yeah, he's ghosted anyway, so I can drive through him." But that was not the case. So uh, anyway. Um, Stoff was going to start P8, uh, I live streamed uh, his po POV on my Twitch but it was quite poor quality of course because he was streaming uh, his po POV to um, mm, through Discord. So um, yeah I decided not to include that into this one but um, yeah there was my sprint race. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the sprint race um, kind of thing, I prefer to just have a 35% race with uh, short qualifying or 25% race with short qualifying or maybe even a 50% um, but yeah I think a lot of people share that opinion with opinion with me but um, yeah it's a shame uh, I didn't manage to get more to the front 
I did gain one position, of course, from my starting position, but I think I could have probably finished top five, um, yeah, around Josh Idawu probably. So, yeah, that's a shame. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And see you guys next time. Ciao.